Hey, fellow RVers, how are we doing? Well, this is Michael Carroll, and uh, my dog is all excited because I'm talking, and he thinks I'm talking to him. Well, this is month nine and COVID-19 lockdown, and I have to admit that I am getting just a little bit tired of being locked down. Um, now, uh, I have to admit that it has normalized my my tendencies for isolation and for being alone and it's made that the norm rather than the exception so that's kind of cool but you know uh, i just want to go out sometimes without you know all the face masks and other hubbub that surround that activity but i do have to say that one of the positives that this isolation has uh done for me is uh i'm cooking now and i can't go out to eat and i can't go out and drink and i love doing those things so and i'm certainly not going to eat out of a box um i did that for a while and that got old real fast so i started cooking and i haven't cooked in a long time <coughs> used to cook for a living 20 years ago never really cooked at home um but yep now i'm cooking and I'll tell you, it's a it's a real positive experience, and I think that I'm going to uh, to uh, continue this even when we don't have um, lockdowns. I'm I'm going to keep cooking at home, and I'm going to keep cooking from scratch. I pretty much got rid of everything that's box for the most part. There's some things I'm still working on, and some recipes I'm still tweaking. But uh, I'm I'm very excited to share some of my recipes with you, to share some of my methods. Um, cooking in an RV is is uh, not always easy because of the limited room especially for storage and the hardest part probably is the increased dishes and I boondock all the time and so uh, that water supply is really important to me and um, it's, a, it's a little difficult to clean up and to keep everything sanitary uh, while you're watching your water and want to stay out for three weeks without uh, going in and filling up but um, I'm excited to share some of my tips with you and some of my tricks for doing that and I think you're going to find them uh, beneficial and useful. So a couple of the things that I've been making that I've been really happy with is, uh, well, number one, uh, homemade biscuits. Oh, my goodness. I got rid of that bisquick real fast. Started making my homemade biscuits, and I'll show you how I store them. And, uh, you know, I'm one person, and, and yeah, okay, I'm, I'm a big fat man, but I can't eat more than two biscuits or so. I mean, that's a lot for breakfast. It's not the only thing you have. So I make three biscuits at a time, and I usually have enough for two days. And um, and that's uh, so every couple days I make biscuits. But anyways, they're really good. I uh, got rid of the bisquick and everything like that. Now I just make them hand home make them, make them homemade, and I'm gonna share that recipe. And it's real quick and real easy. And I cut the cold butter right in and use buttermilk, and they come out good. And um, the other thing I've been making uh, that I'm very happy with is pasta. You got that right, pasta. I bought a little pasta hand crank machine. I make all my homemade pasta. I made some um, lasagna with sheets of pasta in it instead of the dried stuff. I also make uh, some fettuccine noodles that are just real good. And uh, it's fresh pasta for a reason. So you got to use it or you got to freeze it. It doesn't keep. So uh, it's, it's kind of fun and it's easy. Um, they, um, I'm not going to say that making pasta is necessarily cheaper. It's not expensive. But neither is buying pasta. But I will say this, that it does elevate whatever recipe it happens to be in. So uh, that, uh, that's really nice. Oh, another thing, I'm, I'm excited to share that process with you as well. It's really easy. The other thing that I've been making is uh, some bread. Uh, I made some dinner rolls and I make my pizza crust now and my homemade pizzas and calzones. Ho, ho. Never again will I buy store-bought pizza. No way. Not only is it just terribly expensive... But it doesn't taste very good, and you can make pizzas darn cheap. I'm talking. I mean, I'm talking. All this stuff is cheap to make. So if you're on any type of budget, which you know, I guess I should be, and I guess I am. Um, homemade is the way to go. Quality and and saving some money. And the other thing that I really enjoy is, uh, um, what else am I making? Oh, one thing that I tried to make that didn't really come out too good is crackers. So I'm still buying my crackers. Um, yeah, they came out crunchy and light right, right out of the oven. And then uh, they sat for the night and got a little uh, stale and chewy. And so I'm still looking for a cracker recipe. I think it might just be my RV oven. 
Uh, but I did get the pasta roller, and so I think I can make them a little bit thinner and maybe make them better. But uh, I want to stop buying the store-bought crackers. I've been making my own marinara sauces. Um, I've been making everything. Everything is homemade. Um, and let me tell you, it sure is uh, sure is nice to be able to name every ingredient and in everything that you eat. Um, there's a I'm not a health nut, obviously. I'm a big, fat, obese man that loves to eat and drink. But I will tell you that uh, it's kind of nice being able to, to name every single ingredient in everything that you eat. Um, we're talking uh, no preservatives. We're talking uh, just good old-fashioned home cooking. And uh, my mom, I used to watch my mom cook uh, on the farm. We didn't own a farm. We weren't that rich. We were poor. But we uh, did grow I grew up in a house that was on a farm. And... Um, <clears throat> But my mom used to make everything homemade and uh, everything. Uh, I would say that I'm a better cook than her. Uh, I won't tell her that. Well, she's dead, but she didn't hear that. But uh, I will say that I'm probably a, a quite a bit better cook than her. Um, but she made some good stuff, and uh, and that's cool. Uh, but I'm making some good stuff, too. And uh, I'm just excited to, to share some of the re these recipes. And uh, I will tell you one thing. The, the quality, the freshness, the... The inexpensiveness of it. It's just unbelievable how far your money will stretch. And I haven't really calculated it out. But, uh, you know, nice big breakfast with two biscuits and gravy and sausage and eggs. Two bucks. I mean, max per breakfast. I mean, that's just damn cheap. Um, you know, dinner time with, uh, oh, pff, I made a big pan of lasagna. It probably cost me a maximum of about $10 to make that, that pan of lasagna. I got six big slices out of it. Each one of those is a meal. So, and they're frozen. So, what? Dollar and 75 cents a slice, and maybe 25 cents for salad or whatever you have with it. Two bucks for, for dinner. Uh, a little quarter pound hamburger, and uh, I get up for three dollars a pound at Costco. It's a pretty good hamburger. Quarter pound of hamburger, and potatoes, and beans. Um, mashed potatoes, and beans, and stuff. I mean, come on, less than two bucks to make dinner. I mean, it's just ridiculous how much money I used to spend going out and eating and drinking and I'm talking every day every day I go to the bar and in happy hour and watch football and watch sports and and um, I'd have you know beer and in uh, the fried food and stuff and I miss the social life a little bit I mean I'm not overly social but you know it's kind of nice sitting with other people and, and watching a game together but uh, and I miss it a little bit, and, I, and it's not like I'll never go back to the bar. Um, but I will say that I, I'm definitely going to regulate it. I'm not spending twenty to forty bucks a night every single night uh, out eating and drinking like I used to. And I'm talking I used to spend probably twelve hundred bucks a month going out and eating or drinking at the bar and tips and all that kind of crap. Uh, just ridiculous. Um, so I'm saving like tremendous amounts of money, and I'm very happy with it. And I'm excited to share some of this stuff with you, and I hope that you uh, enjoy um, some of the recipes that I have for you. And especially uh, being in an RV, I'll show you how I store the stuff. Everything's in containers, and I'll show you some of the canisters I got for the flour. I buy flour in like 25-pound bags now because I use it for everything. Um, you know, biscuits and bread and, and pizza dough and pasta and cookies and cakes. I mean, I make it all. And it's, uh, this is really good. And, um, but anyways, so, uh, that's, that's what I've been doing. And, um, it's, uh, it's been a good experience overall. And yeah, the, look forward to some of the recipes that, that I, I'm going to be sharing. And I'll be writing up this little blog here and what's in the, uh, the written part might be a little bit different than here. So you might want to read it too. Anyway, take care and. And I hope you enjoy your uh, boondocking. And I am in Las Vegas. I'm in Lake Mead. And this is where I spend most of my time. Um, I enjoy it. If you ever want to stop by for a beer, uh, I always have one. If you ever want to stop by for a lunch or something, that's cool too. But, uh, you know, I, I don't like people all the time. But I don't mind an occasional visitor. I'm not a complete hermit. Just a little bit of a hermit. Uh, anyways, uh, take care. And... Um, Good luck, and uh, hopefully you get through COVID just fine. Bye.